At Obermott, we tried something new. I have a friend who is an osteopath. His name is Mike Stadler, and he has a practice in Zurich at Central, Osteopathy Central. He helped me recover after my ski accident, and then I offered him to help him with his retirement savings. So we sat down in his um, office, in his practice actually, and discussed how we should save for retirement. Now we're here in Switzerland and we speak Swiss, which means it's something we have not in English. So I'm trying to explain you the biggest and most important conclusions from that discussions in English. And the first question Mike actually asked was, what products should I buy? And a really important thing is, don't buy any financial product. Don't even buy financial advice. And I'll show you why. We all know, and that hurts sometimes a little bit, that markets move in cycles. That's just how it is. You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good again. And that's just the reality. We also know that we all hate losses, which means when it goes down, like here, you're going to hate it because your money is worth less. Now, what does that mean for your financial advisor? If he joins you on that journey, the most important thing the financial advisor has to do is to avoid losses as good as they can. The problem, however, is avoiding losses costs you a lot of money. What you can do, you can use all kinds of instruments to avoid losses. You can also go into cash instead of going into investments and all that helps you have less losses when times are bad. But it also means you have less upside when times are good. And that actually is going to hurt you a lot. So if your target is to have a lot of money when you retire, then your financial advisor's target is the contrary. He wants to get you as low losses as possible, which at the end will mean a lot less money for you to retire. So the first thing you need to realize is your financial advisor and you yourself have completely opposite interests. That's why we recommend doing your stock investing yourself. Mm -hmm.